Self-destruct sequence activated. Oh, hey guys. I want to go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about my past jobs I actually had. From the worst to the best to really worst. Now, a little while back, I did happen to start at a job at from like a country club, which was a golf course um, slash restaurant slash uh, swimming pool area, which basically was okay for a little while, but then after a while, it got to a certain point to where I couldn't know exactly for my bills, which I only get paid about seven thirty an hour. That was the worst of it. Now, here's nothing that was worse. In the winter time, when we actually closed Monday, Sunday, and also a couple other days, I only worked three days a week. That's not enough to pay for the bills. And I only got enough, and I only get paid every week. That's still not enough. So, a little while, a little longer goes by, I worked there for about three years. Until I got sick and tired of it. And then, I ended up going to another company called M M Meyer. What actually happened at Meyer is I only worked there for like 11, for like 13 months, and then I ended up leaving. So, here's the reason why I ended up leaving. Well, the reason why that I ended up leaving is because of this. After about a certain period of time, I kind of liked it. Hot, blistering days, cold weather, but oh well. I actually pushed carts in. Helped people out with their groceries or whatever bring carts in that's basically all I did gather trash up yeah now here's another thing, reason why I did it was Friday the 13th December I actually walked out from my position and here's why I didn't have no help when we were so busy and I didn't have a break or my lunch, and I was working seven hours that day. So basically, I only had three more hours of my shift to go. Which, basically, I was sick and tired of it. So I walked out and came home, and basically, best decision I ever made. They tried to talk to me into staying, but I told them, nope, you lost someone. Bye-bye. Now, after six more months, I decided to go ahead and go to Menards. Which was okay for a while. I bring back two hundred dollars per week. Well, also the one negative part about it, I only got paid nine fifty an hour. That's not real much. Which now it's not exactly that much. But here's another thing. I went in at four o'clock in the morning. Till I got off at nine. Basically, I have the whole entire day to do whatever I want. But I was so tired to do it. I actually felt, took a nap, slept my whole entire day away, woke up, had dinner, went back to bed, got up again. So, that was the worst job. And I only did that for like a year. Then I started doing janitorial work. Well, that didn't work out real well. Still didn't do any good. Walked away from it. So after I left there, I went to Bob Evans, was a dishwasher for a little bit. Then I went ahead and decided to go ahead and go to another job. And that was Texas Roadhouse. Now, the reason why I left Bob Evans, because Bob Evans was not exactly paying me that great either. And plus, I was only getting paid $9.45 an hour, which was not that much. So basically, I was taking pay cuts get increase and getting pay cuts and get an increase that's it so after I left Bob Evans I went to Texas Red House still exact same pay exact same amount of hours not exactly that good but I was very far from home I couldn't really walk to work I couldn't really walk home so I decided to leave there and I went to Wendy's worked there for a little bit Decided to leave. And then I got a job at IHOP. Now IHOP, you guys, I want to take a time right now to let you guys know about IHOP. IHOP was the worst job I ever had. 
I rode my moped all the way to there and came right back. Basically, because either one, they didn't need me, two, they were dead, or three, I only worked there for an hour and left. That was not exactly that good amount of pay. And I only got paid $9 an hour, but I did not decide to do it. Now, what I did there was dishwasher work. Now, I only have three jobs I actually had dishwasher. Actually, four. Lancaster, uh, Lancaster Country Club, blah, 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 if I can talk. Uh, Bob Evans, uh, Texas Roadhouse, and IHOP. After IHOP, I went ahead and decided to go to McDonald's. Biggest mistake of my life. Now, the reason why I say biggest mistake of my life because they do give you a day, they do give you a time when you're going to be getting off, and then they decide to go ahead and say, you know what, we're going to keep you more longer. We're going to keep you more longer. We're going to keep you more longer. We're going to keep you. We're going to keep you. Four hours later, you next thing you know, it's one o'clock in the morning. You're still wide awake. You don't go to bed till four o'clock in the morning. And then you wake up again to go back to work again. So that's why I only did that for like a year and a couple months. I left there and I decided to go ahead and go back to Wendy's. Well, Wendy's, I'm getting $10 an hour there. Not real good amount of hours. Not real good of pay. Well, still a lot better than what it was before. But currently, I'm in seeking a new employment right now. So I'm kind of looking to get out of restaurant and go to something, do something else. So I hope you guys like this video. And this is my worst jobs ever I had in my life. Now, I hope you guys like the video, and that way you guys will understand why I'm trying to get out of working and make a YouTube career from this. Because one, it's nice, it's easy, I get to talk to you guys a long time, I get to do nice cool projects for you guys, and also, I get to be home. I like that. <sighs> well, I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that like button. And please remember, also hit subscribe because you're also supporting the channel. I do really appreciate you guys supporting this channel. I do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart.